Back nine here at Scarborough, chasing 900 for the second time. Let's see if we can do it. Spin it. All right, DMD family, welcome back to another Discs MD video. Back nine of Chasing 900, round two at Scarborough Shorts. If you haven't seen the front nine, take a second, go back and watch it. I'll link it up here and in the description. Okay, I'm one under through the front nine. The line to beat is three under for 900 here at Scarborough Shorts. Uh, so let's see if we can do it. Got a lot of work, got a lot of work to do on the back nine. Back nine is, in, is easy to score on. Usually I'm parring the back nine. So this is a birdieable hole, hole number 10. What is it? 219 feet straight ahead of you. Turn something over. Hopefully my BB6 will turn over. I have a little tailwind left or right. So we'll see. Turn, turn, turn. All right, long putt, but a putt. Let's go. All right, we're just inside circle here, up elevated from the basket. I'm gonna run it, see if we can get it. Yes, let's go, needed that one. This is one of the scorable holes on the back nine, so. Two under now, let's go on to 11. All right, hole number 11, 207 feet. Uh, the basket's to the right, like right through that big tree that's cracked in half. But I'm gonna take this left route and try to hyzer something at, up at the end. I'm gonna throw my midi up there. <sighs> Skip. Ah, skipped and ran right into a log. All right, let's go. All right. I'd say we're uh, a good ways out here. At least edge of circle two, probably more. Just a little throw in maybe. Nah, short putt for par. <laughs> All right, tap in for par. On to hole number 12. What are we still at? We're two under? Two under, I think. Okay. Not bad. Let's go. All right. Hole number 12, 300 feet exactly. Right in the edge of the wood, straight ahead there. I'm throwing my Mad Cat this time, just so I can just rip over on it and let it just crash back down in. I haven't been getting my shoulder separation, I've noticed. So I have to do that. Skip. Yeah, that should be a decent putt. Circle's edge, maybe? I really should stop trying to guess how far I am away from the pin from the tee because I'm terrible at it. So I'm about 20 feet here. Whew, okay. <laughs> Got that one. Three under. Hey, so we hit our line. Let's see how much we can do. Let's see how far we can go. I don't want to get greedy here, but I don't also want to take my foot off the gas all the way, right? So let's go. All right, hole 13, 206 feet. The basket's to the left, but I have about a 10 foot gap to hit right in front of me about 60 or 70 feet off the tee pad. Forehanding my horny toad here. Let's see if we can get it. Headwind. Don't worry about it. Just throw. Just throw the shot. Drifted left, right, I mean. Like I expected. Don't roll. Stop. Are you kidding me? It's still rolling. <sighs> that was the worst roll ever. It landed in the perfect spot. 
Oh, okay. All right, sorry about the leaves crunching. But it hit about 60 feet up there. Hit one of those rocks and rolled all the way back down here. So let's just try to get it up for the par now. All right, that will sink that for the par. Leave my bag here. We'll come back and get it. All right. All right. This wind's starting to mess with me because it's getting more constant and harder now. So we have some rain coming in tonight, so the wind's going to get worse from here on out. Relax. Just throw the disc. Let's go. A uh, hole 14, 288 feet, uh, about 80 feet downhill. I've been throwing my, I've been turning my dillo over too much. Even the Founders plastic or the Charlie plastic one. I, I, I'm just getting away from that. I just turn it over too much. I gotta learn how to throw that better. So I'm gonna throw my blue bonnet, just float it down there, and hopefully it fades right up to close to where I need to be. <sighs> No, I turned that over too. I don't no idea. I have nothing. If I go that way, I'm going to hit all those. I have a gap here ish. So, all right, let's just send it down and see what happens. Get down, hit something and go right. There you go. All right, I might be able to save the bogey from there. All right, I think I spoke a little too soon. I, again, I don't think the camera, you can appreciate how far downhill this is right now. Uh, just going to try to scoot something down and see if I can slide it up there. Yeah, that's good. I should be able to make that. All right. That, <laughs> okay. I cannot tell you. I am only 15 feet away from this basket. And I cannot tell you how nervy that putt is. Because if I miss, I'm 40 feet past the basket. Easy. <laughs> so, I'll take the bogey here. I usually account for bogey here. Uh, so, I'm going to have to get one more because we're at two under. Let's go to 15. So, we had a little bit of a camera malfunction. I threw my first drive of the Wrangler. It's up there. But just for the sake of videoing, I'm going to throw another one and just pretend it's my Wrangler and it landed right up there. <laughs> it, that was actually the exact same shot. <laughs> Believe it or not, I'll, we'll go up and I'll show you. It was the exact same shot. <laughs> so, just got up here, sorry. Out of breath because it's way, way uphill which was my second drive that I just got on video. My first drive, which was the Wrangler, is right up there. So, you're going to have to take my word for it. I did throw the Wrangler. We just, the record button didn't respond to touch. So, sorry about that. But you know what? If you were watching my last round here, you'll know I have never birdied this hole. Never. This is the best look I've ever had at it. And that's what happens on this hole. I just cannot get it up over the rim like that. All right, take the par and move on. So I'm not one who believes in jinxing myself. But I really have to stop saying that stuff until after I put. Because I am a firm believer that you can get in your head and talk yourself out of stuff. So, from now on, slap me when I start walking up to a putt. And tell me, don't say anything until afterwards. <laughs> okay. Hole number 16. This is the last best chance at a birdie. And I'm at two under right now. So, straight out in front. A lot of stuff in my way. 185 feet. I'm gonna throw my Benny. Hit, hit. 
All right, that should put me at about 30 feet. So 20 feet straight through a tree. <laughs> so it was a great shot, but I have a massive tree in my way that I don't know. Oh, I, I just don't have enough chains to grab. There was nothing I could do there. All right, take the par. All right, taking the par. That's 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 brutal, because that wasn't a bad drive. Just unfortunate behind a massive tree. So uh, now I have to birdie one of the last two. Let's go. It, it, this makes for great content, though. So come on. Hole 17. What is this? 286. Pretty far downhill. But it snakes really narrow gap down the pathway. It snakes down there. This this is just a hard one to get. So this is always a boat bonus for me. I throw a blue bonnet down here. I don't know if I can get it or not. We'll see. All right. Get through going right for it <laughs> right for it squared it up all right let's go all right jake wolf style roll all right we have a shot at par that that's i'll take that <laughs> All right. Straddle. Oh. All right. That was the end of the dream. Bogey to put me back to one under. I have to ace. I have to ace 18. Let's go. All right, hole 18. We're at one under. It's not impossible to ace this hole. It is improbable. <laughs> so it's straight out in front of that. There's a big dead stump out there. It's right behind that big dead stump. 200 feet, 204 feet. Go throw my Benny. Let's go out in style. Oh, that has a chance. Come back. Wow, that was really long and it didn't fade at all. <laughs> well, you can't say I didn't give it a shot. <laughs> I went about 70 long, 60 long. All right, coming back to you. Okay, so one under, better than one over. I don't know why I'm struggling so bad at this course. Like three or four under should be automatic. So a couple things I need to clean up. Hole two, the out of bounds killed me. Um, so turning that over, I'm just standing up. A uh, couple of bad rollaways, but... Not an awful round, not a great round, but not an awful round. So we'll have to come back one more time. I, who would have thought that Scarborough shirt, shorts would have been my nemesis on this journey? So anyway, <laughs> thanks for coming along. We'll be back here again for the next Chasing 900. So be sure to come back and check that out. Thanks as always for tuning in, coming along this journey with me. Until next time, enjoy the journey. Here's your verse of the day. Thank you.